Hello everyone, I'm Dylan, and in this video, we'll continue with our PBS 4100 series by introducing you to the equipment normally included with the PBS kit. In this video series, we're going to use the same demonstration rig that we use when we train clients in in-person events. This demonstration rig is composed of a single shaft engine mock-up that's driven by an electric motor. There are two rotors on this shaft, and both are capable of being balanced. However, as part of this presentation and video series, we're going to focus our attention to the front or fan rotor since this is what is traditionally done on most engines. On this demonstration rig, we have two Endevco accelerometers installed, one at each rotor location. Because we're only interested in the front rotor, I've only connected the front rotor's accelerometer. Our accelerometer outputs a high impedance charge signal that is routed through heavily armored and shielded wire cables to protect it from excessive noise. In the real world, these charge cables would be as short as practical. The charge cables run directly into an MTI 41CA charge amplifier. This amplifier turns the charge signal into a millivolt signal, which is less prone to noise interference. This cable is then routed to the Data Acquisition Unit, or DAU, which is normally located in the cockpit of the aircraft. To obtain speed information, a separate cable is routed from the tachometer sensor on the demonstration rig. In this case, it's of the long tooth variety, and it's routed directly to the DAU. The Data Acquisition Unit is the brain of the PBS system. It features a proprietary signal analysis system that can capture a variety of information about the engine being tested as it's being tested. To make working with the DAU as easy as possible, MTI has developed the WinPBS software which runs on the laptop included with your 4100 kit. It's connected to the DAU via a simple Ethernet connection. Using the WinPBS software, users are capable of monitoring run data as it happens, saving data for later analysis, and to calculate precise balanced solutions. That does it for this short video of the series. In the next videos, we're going to be looking at how we can use the 4100 equipment to complete a vibration analysis and then take that data and use it to balance the engine. Until then, we'll see you later.